everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i hope that you're all doing well my name is rufaro i hope that you are good and you're strong and you're happy you know just feeling the vibe if you see me for the first time welcome i hope that you enjoy the channel and you like what you see do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell right here so that you don't miss out on anything new if you're a returning subscriber hugs to you i hope that you're having a great week so far and today i'm going to be talking about my 30 day prayer challenge this is something that i have used like two to three times since the time that i jotted it down and i've managed to see like a positive impact in my life as a result of this so if you're looking for something to help you to strengthen your prayer life and help you to sort of build out the right habits and make sure that you're consistent for 30 days straight and maybe get the revelations that you're looking for then definitely you need to keep on watching Never mind, never mind all the stuff that you've been worrying about. Never mind, never mind all the people trying to bring you down. Oh, never mind, never mind. Okay, so like I said, today I'm going to be sharing with you my 30 day prayer challenge. And yeah, this is it. I actually wrote this down. I know it's very colorful. I actually wrote this down. It should have been about two years ago. It should have been right after the birth of our second child, my second daughter. And I really wanted something to help me to strengthen my prayer life, something to help me to reignite my prayer life and to just sort of help me to understand the heart of God and get the revelations that I wanted for myself and for my family. So this prayer life really just sort of did that for me and I'm happy that I actually put it down. There's so many prayer challenges that I've taken part in. I think my first prayer challenge was a few years ago, not even a few years ago, around the time when I first got married, I did a seven day prayer challenge, then another 30 day prayer challenge for my husband. And I did this one and there are different prayer challenges that I've also tried along the way. So um, if you want something that helps you to stay consistent, then definitely this works. I do remember reading somewhere that it takes 21 days to build a habit. So with a 30 day prayer challenge, you got seven days extra. <laughs> so definitely you'll be able to do that. So, okay, this is my prayer challenge. I use like an old calendar and I just picked one that had 30 days because I didn't want to have to sort of you know make one and then print it and stuff like that it's got all the days of the week and i just put down the specific prayers that i wanted for each and every day and i tried to cover most aspects of my life there's a thing called the will of life which says that you need to sort of balance six areas in your life i think it is financial there's work there's relationship there's spiritual there's health and i think there's social this should be maybe the six areas if i'm not mistaken and you need to find a way of being able to balance them out because sometimes when one area is thriving there could be another area that could be suffering significantly and i wanted to make sure that with this prayer challenge i was able to to cover all the important aspects of my life whether it is work home spiritual family friends everything i wanted to make sure that all the areas were covered and i actually remember taking down notes to think about the type of prayer challenge that i wanted so i actually went online and i googled a few and i started picking up different prayers and different themes that i thought would really speak to me with what i was trying to achieve and then i also used this book by stormy omashian if you've seen my youtube videos i've mentioned this book quite a number of times yeah the power of a praying woman this is a three-in-one collection I got this from one of my aunts, if I'm not mistaken, at my bridal shower. Yeah, my, it was a bridal shower, right? Yeah, my bridal shower. So the power of a praying wife, the power of a praying parent, and the power of a praying woman. If there's a testimony, it, you know, it definitely lies in this book. So there are definitely prayers that I enjoyed that are in this book that I then also took and put it in there. Okay, so my prayer challenge was something that I wanted to feel authentic and more of me I wanted it to be well thought out so i had like themes my themes were um i wanted a breakthrough so the things that i wanted i wanted a breakthrough i wanted peace of mind i wanted you know restoration of my faith and my hope in god and i wanted opportunities to be opened up to me and for me to enjoy love and joy in my life so i find that it's very colorful 
and I use the highlighter so you may not be able to see everything that is written down here. It's colorful because I'm a visual kind of person. I, I like to see colors. <laughs> that sort of vibe. Okay, and my, should I say a tagline, but my motto consistently throughout this prayer challenge, which I've also then applied in different aspects of my life is pray, wait, trust. Yeah, I love that. And I also put down some of my favorite hymns, some of my favorite songs so that I could, you know, play them and be reignited and just feel closer to God and, you know, just celebrate and worship. And I got Lion of Judah. I was obsessed with the song for the longest of times. You are holy. This is a Shona version of... Um, I don't know if it's an English version, it's an English way of saying this, but this simply means God lead the way or Lord lead the way. And this is a Methodist song. I grew up Methodist. Right now I attend Hillsong, but I definitely grew up Methodist. Some of the values that I have, I, I took from there. And some of the values that I have in my prayer life, I took from my mom and, you know, different aspects in terms of my upbringing, right? And another one of my favorite verses that I put down here is in the shadow of your wings i will take my refuge so you see how i really tried to make this mine instead of i felt like it was because i had taken quite a number of prayer challenges i didn't want a prayer challenge which just felt generic and i was and now i'll be struggling to sort of apply it into my life that's the reason why i tried to then redo everything and just make my own and apply things to me to, and apply things to myself one thing that I can tie about prayer challenges is the fact that despite the fact that you're learning how to build a good habits over a period of time, I've got a Bible verse that I like. Um, it's from Habakkuk. Let me see if I can find it. And so the Bible verse is from Habakkuk 2 verse 2 and it says, write down the revelation. Make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. A herald in the olden days, I would say the olden days because yeah, it was a long time ago. At that time was someone who used to announce things like um you know if it's cnn <laughs> the news reporter i don't know but it was someone that would go around the village or around different towns and they would announce the things that were happening or messages from the king and stuff like that so for me writing things down even in the word of god just write it down and make it plain i guess it helps you for me it has helped me to see to see things clearly it, it helps to make things real they're not just in a book somewhere when you hide it in your shelf because this guys I, I stick it up you can see it's got like sticky tape here you know sticky stuff and i put it up in my closet that's where it stays so when i say i'm doing a prayer challenge each and every time i open that closet i am reminded of the commitment that i made to myself the same with vision boards i really find a lot of value in this okay so i'm just going to read a few of the prayers that i've noted down so that you can have a bit of understanding of how I was doing it and then you can then try to customize it and apply certain things to your life because these are my prayers and I don't know hopefully you'll find value in it okay so the first prayer okay day one Lord open up my heart let your word guide me I also want to build a relationship with God so for me I wanted to make sure that I was building a stronger relationship with God that's one of the reasons why I actually started this and I wanted the relationship, my relationship with God to bring revelation in my life and for me to know and understand the heart of God. I don't know if I can really express this. I'm not a preacher, guys. So if I don't sound that eloquent when I'm speaking the word of God, because I'm not a preacher, but I just love to share certain things that I'm doing that I believe can be helpful to someone out there. Okay. All right. So for me, I wanted to make sure that first things first. If I'm going to be reading a Bible verse, playing a song, or listening to a sermon, or even just taking time to pray and, and everything, I needed to make sure that I was understanding things because it's very easy to go through a whole chapter in the Bible and still find and still fail to find relevance. You still fail to understand how to apply that word to your to your life. And I didn't want to go through that. So that was the first prayer that I put down to make sure that I was able to understand. And be not just pray consistently for 30 days but at the end of 30 days each and every day i should be able to apply the word of god his word into my life i'll pick another random day i'm just going to be doing this randomly then you just get a bit of an idea 
Okay, um, protection from my enemy. This is day 13. Protection from my in. And it so happened to be on Friday the 13th. <laughs> if you believe in that stuff. Protection from my enemies. Wisdom on how to handle them. I remember at this particular time, I, I, I was, I had been promoted and I had a very challenging type of job. And uh, people that were not happy that I was put in that position. And I believe that um, some of the resistance that I then faced during that time was a result of that. So one thing that I did try to make sure is to also, you know, just pray for other people that um, may wish ill of me or my, of my, or even of my loved ones, and have a healthy relationship with them. If I hurt them in any way, they can forgive me. If they've hurt me, I can forgive them. If they want to do something to me, it doesn't happen. That sort of, like yeah that sort of vibe so um, another prayer that I'll do is prayer number 25 healing and restoration for Zimbabwe and its people I'm Zimbabwean guys like um yeah there's nothing to say I'm Zimbabwean prayer for um oh I can't read that okay please guys to in everything he does wisdom opportunities financial freedom Good health and joy. Takuna is my husband, so I, I put him there. I've got a prayer for my mom there. A day for my children as well is also there. And yeah, guide me through my worries. This is day 22. Wisdom to handle situations and trust in your answers. So this is just some of the prayers that I put down. You know, you can write down your own prayers. One thing that I can tell you that sort of then completed this challenge and not just going through the days and reading the Bible and then praying to strengthen the stuff that I was really sort of like focusing on or to make sure that I, you know, I listened to worship music to sort of like give me hope and strength and bring me closer to God. I would also like, um, um, when I'm doing this prayer challenge, yeah, I also make sure that I'm I'm looking for sermons, you know, like for in particular on this day that says that um, lift up my friends Tafadwa, Modi, Regina, Helen, and Lisa. And you'll find that on a day like this, this is day number seven. So on a day like this, I'll make sure that I look for sermons online and that speak to, you know, praying for friendship or that speak to relationships around friendships. And then I'll focus on that sermon and take teachings and lessons or verses from that sermon, then apply it to my life. So I've gone through like, I'll go through different pastors and stuff like that. I remember at one time, I was now focusing a lot into the Bismarck, then there was Joyce Meyer, um, of late there's also Joseph Prince. So, so they're different, I'll say teachers or pastors or leaders that have a message that you can apply. You may not be able to you know, take everything that they focus on in their teaching or when they bring through their sermons, but definitely you find sermons that you can apply to your life. If it's not on YouTube or, or via podcast, I'll look for a PDF sort of version, one online, that sort of speaks to the topic that I'm focusing on, on that particular day. So yeah, guys, this is my prayer challenge. And I hope that you found the value in this video and you are able to sort of understand where I'm going with this and then be able to apply it in your own life so that you can be able to go on that journey that you really want to go on and build a healthier relationship with God. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Do share your feedback in the comments below. I'd like to know some of the prayer challenges that you've tried or are going or actually using right now. What has been the impact in your life? I'd also like to try some of the things that you're doing as well to see what works for me as well. Do share this video with anyone that you think might actually benefit from this. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell right here so that you don't miss out on anything new. So, okay, guys, so much love. I hope that you enjoyed the video. See you on the next one. Well, you just wanna never mind, never mind all the things going on in my mind. Yeah.